Gentlemen, my product is AI, but right now I am as shaky as Jesse Pinkman on withdrawal. I am missing deadlines, burning through API tokens, and I am one hallucination away from compliance officer busting through that door. I need to cook smarter. Hi friends, welcome back to TechScripted. Today I am going to talk about building enterprise AI with semantic kernel and LLM ops in .NET 8. Already I had shown you what I had built so far in the AI. Right now I am building upon it semantic kernel operations Yeah, for that. But to keep things interesting, I am going to use a few breaking bird references along the way. Fine. Now here is the enterprise AI cartel. The problem statement which I am going to address is in AI world, latency, cost, reliability, compliance are as critical as purity and yield as to Walt White. I can't just toss prompts to chat GPT and hope for the best. I need a process that consistently delivers high quality output on time, under budget and within the law. Within the law. When it's come to latency, customer wants answer now. Waiting 10 seconds for a summary feels like Jesse Pinkman waiting on vaults 99% pure batch to crystallize. Hey, okay. Or it's like waiting for the RV generator to kick in while the cartel's helicopter circles overhead. Yeah. <laughs> and about the cost, every AI call is like a precursor chemical. Misuse it and my profit evaporate. LLM tokens are not cheap, okay, especially in production. Mind it. See, when it comes to reliability, enterprise clients are unforgiving. A single hallucination or broken output feels like an exploding RV in the desert. Moreover, enterprise demand 99.999% uptime. Yeah, one hallucination or 500 error, not even uh, 429, is like the day Walter's lab went into flames. Yeah. So they ask me about compliance. Data must remain secure and auditable. Imagine hack shredder standing in front of me as a regulator asking me do I have clean chain of custody for every prompt and response. Yeah. So these four time, money, purity and law hmm, are the four constraints that have to work within. Now let's see how the pros do it. Yeah, I'll tell you how is the upcoming roadmap from Microsoft and uh, from uh, other agencies is coming up along the way and how they are making it to stabilize more and more coming down in the course of the years uh, to come starting from 2025. Yeah. So to survive this game, I need more than just a good recipe. I need the right lab equipment and processes. I'll show you in terms of my AI world how exactly this fits in. Yeah. So here comes my super lab entering into the world of semantic kernel and LLM ops. To survive, I am building a super lab and like Gustavo Frin, state of the art bunker, I am going to change everything. <laughs> Not in the entire world, I mean at my desk as my product. This is what I am talking about. Okay. Yeah. Think back when Walter White moved from makeshift RV into Gustavo Frins immaculate super lab. That shift wasn't just about a nicer equipment. It was about scale, control and precision. This is, yeah. In the AI world, the super lab is semantic kernel and LLM ops here. Embracing the enterprise and the professional standards and the pro way of doing it. This is how it has to be done in 2025. Let me uh, explain you about little bit about semantic kernel here. That is GA in 2025. Microsoft's roadmap promises that by Q1 2025, the semantic kernel agent framework is moving from preview to a stable production ready release ready. That means fewer breaking changes and a supported base platform. Exactly what enterprise needs to commit at AI scale. An agent is a self-contained module that can plan, execute tasks in semantic kernel. I turn functions like summarize this document into skills, then chain them together with a planner. It's like assigning Jesse the cooking and letting the mic handle the distribution. 
yeah specialized roles that work together seamlessly in terms of semantic kernel agent so with semantic kernel i'm able to write skills like summarize this document generate key points or create embeddings yeah then then chain those skills together with planners i'm essentially building a ai agent that can plan execute multiple tasks okay i mean multiple step tasks as i said it is just like assigning jesse cooking and letting mike handle the distribution each agent knows its role as the steps passes by okay what's the cool part here semantic kernel is converging with other frameworks according to the roadmap i think i can show you a roadmap here integrating with autogen and azure ai foundry that means i can host autogen agents inside semantic kernel and vice versa and this will give me freedom to match agent frameworks without rewriting or rewiring the code yeah not only this they are also rolling out a process framework and vs code tooling layer in 2025 it's like picture control panel where i can design workflows visualize and debug ai agents so currently debugging the ai agents is very tough and that's the gale boy teacher upgrade where we have been waiting for yeah hey now let's talk the llm ops the devops of the large language models llm ops cover everything from data presentation when fine tuning to deployment monitoring and cost control so enterprise uses vector database like pinecone vv8 and milverse to store embeddings so model can perform retrieval augmented generation that what we call rag instead of hallucinating my model fetches the right context before generating a response this is what currently i have and the next thing which enterprise uses is orchestration frameworks like langchain and llama index which helps me to build chains of llm calls conditionals and memory then comes the observability tools like arise datadog are there to monitor token usage latency and error rates which uh, i think uh, for token usage i'm not using it but uh, we can use that if anybody wants to use so basically agent framework like semantic kernel and autogen are there to manage multi step tasks without llm ops scaling ai is like cooking meth in the back of an rv it works until it doesn't this is the reality okay so that was the theory which i had uh, told you and how does this apply to my code base is that i and me we already had looked at caching is my stash in my ai project i have an ai cache service that generates key from the request and stores the serialized response in my project i have ai cache service that you have seen earlier also that generates a key from the request and stores the serialized response It prevents me from paying for the same answer twice in the super lab on the other hand while i'll be implementing i'll be taking this step further by using redis pub or sub or a vector database for embeddings so that i can support retrieval augmented generation coming on to rate limiting that is my distribution control for that i have currently ai rate limiter in place which i had shown to you in my previous videos those who have not seen they can uh, check it so ai rate limiter tracks how many requests each user make it uses an in memory counter and uh, semaphore not semaphore semaphore light and a semaphore light to limit concurrency so this is great for a single machine but what if i have to spin up three servers or more than that or even two servers in that scenario i would replace it with a distributed token bucket possibly via redis or an api gateway currently i had implemented uh, redis but it is not working and in a distributed manner yeah which i need to test it on different servers also once implemented and then comes the logging part logging is my ledger the ai operation logger which is there in my existing project records each and every call call like request content response content tokens used cost uh, costs are there this that is also getting recorded in that timestamps it's like my accounting book but one interface method throws not implemented exception you might not have noticed and it's currently loads all operation into memory i need to fix that and use proper pagination for scale now here are those things which are currently missing in my system first is agent orchestration right now my controller calls 
आई ए आई सर्विस मेथड्स डायरेक्टली विथ सीमेंटिक कर्नल आई विल रैप ईच ऑपरेशन लाइक समराइजेशन एनालिसिस एम्बेडिंग्स इन टू अ स्किल करंटली सी सीमेंटिक कर्नल आई हैड इंप्लीमेंटेड करंटली बट आई एम नॉट डूइंग इट द वे आई शुड बी डूइंग इट आई एम जस्ट बेयर आई हैड जस्ट अ बेयर मिनिमम पी यू सी कंसेप्ट दैट आई हैड शो केस टू यू राइट बट हेयर इज द अपकमिंग वेयर आई विल बी यूजिंग इट एज एन एजेंट वर्किंग इन स्टेप्स right as i told you so coming back to semantic kernel where i'll be wrapping each operation summarization analysis and embeddings into a skill i'll then write a planner that decides which skill to execute and what to order for our example in my case document uh, intake agent can uh, summarize a document extract key points generate suggestions and create embeddings all orchestrated without controller logic next important point is distributed rate limiting as mentioned we need rate limiting that works across multiple servers without that one user can still flood the entire cluster which i don't want actually and one more thing which is missing is proper semantic kernel skills my project has stubbed semantic kernel service and a minimal semantic kernel integration in azure open ai service to take advantage of the agent framework i would define skills in c sharp or python register them with the kernel and write planners i would also hook up the connectors to vector database like postgres as uh, long back i had shown you in my other videos using postgres and that i deployed on uh, railway also and i can do it in sql server also so by bridging these gaps i move from a scrappy rv operation to enterprise grade super lab that i am talking about here right now and here comes the final thing what's my vision for the super lab let me leave you with the vision imagine a customer sends a document into my api in that case semantic kernel uh, semantic kernel agent reads it summarize it extract the key points generates the follow up questions store the embeddings in a vector database and logs everything my llm ops stacks monitor tokens usage trigger alerts if latency spikes rotate api keys that i shown you and enforces rate limits which already a separate video i had created for i have addressed latency cost reliability and compliance i am not just cooking anymore i am running a professional operation just like <laughs> walter white that's what top tier companies are adopting in mid 2025 this isn't a hype it's the natural evolution of ai engineering and like a certain chemistry teacher once said and ask his name i am the one who codes